Alright, so here we are, finishing up the Skloo Fortress, the final, final two stages, and whoops, I accidentally, I accidentally went in there, whoops, yeah, we had 80 tanks, and an M tank, so, gotta pick them up, so yeah, oh, look at this, this looks gorgeous, but yeah, um, this would be the final episode of the KFC Man adventure. Like, this project has been going on for a very long time. Like, this has probably been the longest regular, you know, game from a Mega Man Maker creator that I've played. Like, it has had very many stages, and yeah, that's mostly because of that, you know. A very long game, indeed. I must say, like, I've really been impressed with the. Skloof Fortress stages here this far, like they, yeah, it kind of just feels like they do look nicer than the regular stages, and yeah, like the checkpoint placement also feels, you know, a bit, how should we say, it feels, it feels nicer to the player, you know, I, I don't know, like at least in the two four, in the two first stages there, I really, really enjoyed those there. Like, definitely the best stages so far of the entire project, I would say. It really stood out there, in my opinion. Ooh, look, look at that, what the... Huh. That looks very peculiar. That's even the right word, I hope I'm not misusing that. <laughs> Ooh, and this, yeah, I recognize this pyramid here. Uh, Kung Fu Cutsman used this in another stage of Wizard, the Komatsu Yeah. They recognize this. Very interesting. Ooh. Hmm. Well, some more forced weapon usage here. We gotta get that there somehow. Let us see here. What do we do? Let's just use the C kick. And I really wanted that health. That was. Yeah. <laughs> that was not. That great of me. I should totally have gotten it. If I just had paused the screen instead or you know done something. Alright, but yeah, see this is what I mean. We have a checkpoint, you know, before mini bosses and you know things like that, which is why I really do enjoy the screw for the stages here. Like they aren't no uh, you know quite as frustrating to back right through. Like, don't get me wrong, the all the regular stages was very cool stages too, but I really feel like these stages here are more fine-tuned here, if you will. Yeah. This is a very interesting room too, I have to say. <laughs> wow, we really do have a lot of these here. Holy cow, this is gonna be tricky dicky. Let's see. No, 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 no. Crap. <laughs> Okay, where do we respawn? Down here, eh? Not too bad. Whoops. Let's get back up there. Let's just do this here. Oh, not quite. Can we? Yeah, we totally can just bypass that and seek it. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna be very careful with the seek it. We only have so much of it. <laughs> Should probably start then. Checking out the enemies here. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, man, 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 man. Focus or run? Or both? <laughs> Whew. Wow, that was. Yeah, that was tricky. Tricky, <laughs> tricky, tricky segment. Take this guy out there, I can't leave him alive. I really want this energy if he says if he has any to give me. Some weapon energy that is. I really would like to fill up the C kick here. Quite late where I'm at right now, or you know, when I'm recording this, so I can't really 
burst out too much yet, so yeah, I gotta try and keep it down a little bit. Okay, but you know what? Let's just cut it back there. See you in a sec. Okay, here we are now. Yeah, let's just try and move a bit faster here. Holy shit, dude, this stage all of a sudden got... <laughs> really tricky, what the hell, that was very close. Oof, yeah, I'm very low on sea kick now, so I really, really don't want to die too much more here, if I can help it. Luckily we do have the M tank, so yeah, I must not forget about that. So I guess I really do have more tries than I first thought I had here, yeah. Yeah. We could just jump this, but yeah, I'm not risking it. Let's just do it like that. That. Very nice. And yeah, I'm just gonna use the sea kick. Uh, it's worth it. I don't wanna mess up that jump. I like that this stage is making me nervous, you know, about dying, like... Yeah. So, yeah, that pretty much makes me want to take care of as many enemies as possible here, so I don't... You know, get myself killed, even if I do have to use some of the... Other weapons. I don't know if that made any sense, but yeah, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully I came across with my point. I think we can just stand there, and actually this guy... He doesn't want me standing there. Okay, nice. I could just use the ball and go through this. So I'm going to... Oh my god, dude, this never ends. <laughs> this is really tricky. Holy cow, if I die, I go, like, 15 screens back. Whew, I can't mess this up. If I do, I die. Oh my god, okay. I took some damage, but... Still fine. All right, all right. What is this down here? Ooh, a checkpoint. Thank God. Thank God. I was afraid we would have a mini boss before the checkpoint. <laughs> hmm. And we saw one of these guys in the original stage, I think. Or actually, no. We fought. Yeah, we fought Plant Man on a bunch of. Yeah, on a bunch of lifts, I think. Not on a conveyor. Oh well. Let's just beat this guy. I wonder if this is the final boss in here. It kind of looks like it, but you know, there could be a teleporter appearing. Hmm. Yeah, this here might be one of these times where I just use an E tank. Ooh, I really just want to get through this stage as fast as possible here. You know what? Let us try the Magma Cannon. Very nice, it does the trick. Crap. Crap. I'm using one. <laughs> can we... Freeze it? Yeah, we totally can just freeze it. Okay, yeah, that was the final boss there. Awesome. Very, very awesome. Like, very cool stage. Like, brutally hard. I'm just lucky I didn't die, uh, like, 20 times over there, over and over. But, yeah. I just barely managed to scrape on by there. <laughs> but, yeah, look at all these stages we've done now. Holy cow. Yeah, this is the one we just did. So, just, let's just get into the fourth one here. And, apparently, there's a fifth fortress stage. Huh. All this loads, let me just check here. Fourth. Okay, the fifth one is a 
bonus stage. Yeah, but the fourth one is the official last stage here of the project. So yeah, this here is the last stage. Hmm. Well, we have plenty of E tanks, and we have an e M tank as well. So yeah, I'm feeling yeah, I'm feeling like I can do this. Hmm. ECE. And yeah. I noticed this here. This here is, um, yeah, we have a screenshot of this over on the forums, like of the last stage. This, yeah, that segment there. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. Let's just. Yeah, you gotta do that. Like, those bunny, quick bunny hops there. Very interesting theme here, I gotta say, for this stage. Very nice. And oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we just gotta be very careful not to jitter around too much so we don't fall down into our death stare. As for this guy, um. Yeah, this is a very nice setup for the rabbit. He actually will just stay over there, so he's kind of like a turret in in a way. That was very interesting. Holy crap, Jesus. Ooh. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> Luckily I only took one hit. But this is very interesting. And like, since it's orange lasers, it also offers some leeway there for the player. But if you mess up too much, you're probably gonna die because you're taking too much damage. That's very interesting, I gotta say. Ooh, what the heck is this? What? But, <laughs> what just happened? Was that supposed to happen, or...? I don't know. Ooh, interesting. We have a key thing there. Huh. Whoa. What is this all about? Huh. Oh, it's a boss gauntlet here. Hmm. Yeah, I love this boss from Bank Case stage here, I believe this guy came from. Yeah. Ben K man. <laughs> the melee, Super Smash Bros. Melee fight. Oh my god, he did not do that in the first time I fought him. Like he just, Yeah, he tackles you mid-air. It's kind of like the up B move, you know, in Smash. <laughs> yeah, I just realized I just ate up all the energy out there in the room. A really cool boss room. Like, boss again, probably my favorite concrete man fight, like, ever. It's gotta be up there, like, in the top three spots at the very least. This is a very, very awesome fight. Like, and it's not too hard either, like, it's very interesting and it also makes concrete man a little bit easier, like, than a normal concrete man fight, which, like, yeah, it's a little bit easier than a normal fight, and it's also a lot cooler than a normal fight. So it like it feels good to fight him. So yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm very impressed with this set there. And huh. this is very, very weird. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna try and look for weaknesses here, otherwise I don't think I can beat all of this. Okay, he's weak to himself. Well, that was easy. There we go. Like, what, what determines, like, which boss I want to go to, that's what I'm mainly 
confused with here like how how do I know where to go like okay so like what now like how do I like yeah I've already been here so <laughs> hmm. oh well 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 we got a new one yeah holy cow I'm definitely gonna be using weaknesses here. <laughs> I'm very afraid of going back here into the teleporting thing here. I don't wanna go in and wipe against the boss and then not knowing how to get back to him. I just want I want them dead. Basically. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Whoa, dude! Does it just happen automatically? I don't know how Kung Fu Cutsman did this, but it seems like his system here like will make sure I don't get stuck. And if that is the case, then I probably will not use weaknesses and try and fight you know, with the cutter. Like if I know I won't be stuck here. That's a... yeah, that's a relief. This guy is kicking my ass. Hmm. Back here. Yeah, I don't think we have been here, have we? Whoa! Wow! What the? <laughs> Dude, this is pretty awesome. I gotta say. Huh. I have no idea how Kung Fu Cutsman did all of this, like... I'm, yeah, I'm just amazed by it. Yeah. It's a very cool finisher for the game here, I gotta say. Cool concept, and I'm very happy that, you know, once again, it doesn't seem like I need to know how the mechanism works there. Like with all the teleporters, I just gotta jump in and the game is like kind of programmed to take me where I need to go. Yeah, I don't know, once again, don't know how they did it. I'm just amazed that they were able to do it. Hmm. The color actually works out quite nice here. Yeah, to say. But I should have him, like, there's no... No reason for me to not have him this time around. And... Was I not supposed to be here? I'm getting a feeling. Since, yeah, no teleporter activated. <laughs> hmm. Well, you know what? Let's just activate this uh, thing again. Let's see what happens. Well, we got a new guy. Oh, yeah, I remember this guy. I remember this guy. His room seems to be changed up a little bit here now, then. I'm just gonna try and jump up here in a bit. Well, <laughs> he couldn't. Alright, you know what? Let's see if we can't find the weaknesses here. Well, the black hole bomb works very well on him, but yeah, I don't want to waste that. Might be the Pharaoh shot. Or it might be this. <laughs> well. Or maybe it's this. I'm not sure. You know what? Let's just. Let's just chew it with this here. Yeah, that works very nice on Skullman. Very cool. Okay. And now, let us refill the black hole and go in again. Let's just, yeah, let's just see where it takes us. <laughs> We're just kind of cycling through everything here, I guess. Yeah, okay, here we are again. Let's just punch him with the... the... 
slow here. Whoops. And he's gone. Very nice, and there we go. I accidentally picked up two, but yeah, it's fine. Hm. So, is this supposed to be the final guy here then, I think? I just accidentally got two, I suppose. Okay, that's his weakness. So the stage might be over after this, so that means that I probably need to do the fifth sleuth stage there too, because, yeah. Okay, no, no, no. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, I was about to say, that did not feel like the last boss of the project. That would have, yeah, been a bit too easy, <laughs> I feel like. Hmm. Okay, we gotta go back in there again. One more time. Let's cycle through it. Back in Skullman's room. Hmm. <laughs> All right, here we are. I wonder what this guy is weak to. Not that. Speed is up. Nice. Then we jump in again and do the cycle again. Now I realize that it's all just, you know, yeah. You do a boss, then you just hit the barrier there or the key door, and you know, you just gotta cycle through till you go through the gap that the keyhole, you know, or that the door created after it's gone. Yeah, it, it wasn't actually all that complicated, but yeah, I was just not, yeah, catching on to that during the start. <laughs> Alright, so, here we are with the final boss. Was this Snivy Master? Hmm. Snivy Master, man, I, I can't recall all the bosses. <laughs> Whoa. That's only one damage. Is Snake Man not strong against anyone, I wonder? Hmm. It would make sense for him to be to the black hole since he kind of just had to you know go through it once he starts spinning there. Okay now we have uncovered everything. Very nice. Whoa there's a lot of teleporters. <laughs> SC Huh Well Yeah, I get it, I think. <laughs> oh no, this is the Skloof Master himself! No, we gotta fight the Skloof, man! Oh my god, in a very small room, so it's very hard to dodge his leaf blades coming down. <laughs> okay, well, this guy we're definitely not gonna do with uh, weaknesses. We're gonna have to fight this guy, you know. Legit. Oh my goodness, it's actually quite hard to, you know, attack here now, since he jumps so high, and that means also that they will close the gap on the player faster. Hmm. <laughs> very interesting woodman fight, actually. A very simple room, but a very effective one. But yeah, I got him down to half carry on the first attempt, so yeah. This Gloof Monster is going down here in a bit. Damage 
Okay, four damage. That's perfect. No. Oh. Okay, yeah, we're about to tie up here again. And I'm about to die as well. <laughs> okay, let's see here. This is a very intense fight. Like, I really like this post room fight. Uh, factually, uh, actually. Oh my god, I almost had a dodge there. No, okay, he's scanning on me. I don't like that. Yeah, you gotta go under him in those situations. It really helps. Very nice. So that's the last freaking boss of the Skloof stages, or the Skloof package here. Very interesting. Yeah. Like, all in all a really cool game, like, once again, I mainly, you know, thought the Skloof stages there were, you know, the meat of the game, like, those stages really stood out from the rest, like, in terms of visuals, uh, in terms of gimmick usage, and, you know, all of that, like they, and in any checkpoint placement, like they felt hard, but they also had. I like the checkpoint placement more in the Sclu stages, in the Sclu fortress, I should say. Like, very cool stuff there. The four final stages were like at least eight, of the, <laughs> eight out of ten, like, they were really high quality stages. I also really like the mind control URM boys, those had some very cool stages as well, and you know, I remember the might stage, poisonous gas, creative eyes, super smash gaming, let's see, I'm just looking at the list here. Yeah, Yoshi stage, Minotaurs, New Master. I, I remember something from all of the stages, like, um, but yeah, once again, in terms of, in terms of, uh, well, not really so much in terms of, but, <laughs> you know, the final four stages, in terms of just how, how everything was baked together, like visuals, gimmick usage, general placements, checkpoints, all of that. I think they stood out about the rest. Um, but like, all stages all in all were, you know, well made and, you know, it was a lot of fun to play. So, yeah, I'm very happy I played this playthrough and, or this game, I should say. I'm very happy Kung Fu Cutsman there submitted it to me for me to play. So, yeah, it was a very fun game to play, but now it's finally over here. So, yeah, I'll be going back to playing you know, use some regular Mega Man Maker stages from now, and yeah, we'll just take it from there. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and have a nice day.